Oh my gosh, you guys. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you the vibe of the living room with the sun coming through. I thought it was such, you know, an aesthetic and it looks so comfortable and I just want to lay there and take forever naps. Do you guys see what's going on right here? <gasps> Casper. Casper, apologize. Cooper fell. Casper, apologize. Casper doesn't care. It's fine. <laughs> You're taking a poo poo. Nobody wants to come in the toilet while you're taking a poop. Whatever. All the vo what's Riley doing? Riley, what are you doing? Oh, mommy didn't see your legs. Um, living room vibes. I, you know what? No rug. No rug. End of story. No rug. This is you guys already saw that the tree and everything. Yeah, I use the crazy ass blanket today. You know, not too bad. Still wouldn't pay that much for it. We have the sunset because we um. Started the, we're starting the vlog pretty late in the day. I'm gonna make myself a smoothie. I've been craving one. We have something defrosting. Oh, just look at the sunset. My God. Setting this up today. I'm very, very excited. Are you guys excited? Comment down below and let me know how excited you are. All the Amazon stuff came today, so we're doing that. Hello, we are going to make a smoothie, like I said. I'm gonna get my frozen banana. Bananas! And then we have a bunch of fruits that we are putting in as well. I have leftover pineapple. This is like a great way to just like stuff everything in, huh? Don't look at our fridge, it's messy again. And then I think we have some apples. Spinach, yeah, spinach. We got this whole bag of spinach at Costco. Look how big this thing is. It's ginormous. And we gotta eat it soon before they go bad. Cause I already sensed it. I cut up bananas and I put them in the freezer so it'll be nice and frozen. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> the bananas are freezing. So good. Would you like a little? Um, you can't say no. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a sip. Oh, it's thick. I like it thick, because then it melts, you know? Oh, it's too thick, buddy. No, no, no. Ooh! That was kind of gross. It's really subtle, but you get all the greens that you need, because you don't eat enough greens. Here you go. Wow, it's good, though. I'll give you that. It's nice. It's a great way to get greens in your body, babe. That's really good. I would like it a little watery. Nice. Mmm. It's good. Babe, it's really easy with a straw. Wow, it's actually really good. Mm-hmm. I told you. Not bad. Oh, my dream. Come here. Oh, my God. This sounds so bright. It's sunset right now. You guys see how bright it is? Hello. Carlos went to the grocery store. He's doing the grocery thing today. I have to answer a few emails and I am filming a mukbang tonight, so I have to prep for that. And then after that, we can do the Nespresso setup, which I'm so freaking excited about. I just uh, popped a bagel. I'm gonna eat a little bit of a bagel. If you guys have not tried this, it's so good. Get some, uh, I would say like get a quarter of a pineapple and then frozen bananas, two frozen bananas cut up, and then I would do two cups of spinach and maybe one fourth cup of water. And then I would do a cup of ice. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. It's so good. Mm. 
You don't need to add sugar. You don't need to add anything else. It's so good and you don't, I promise you, you don't take, you taste the spinach at all. Because I feel like a lot of the times people are really anti anything green smoothie related because they're like, oh my god, spinach and all those greens. Literally, you don't taste any of that. And it looks kind of thick, but it's really easy to suck up. Oh, we're almost out of my favorite. I love this. I can't, I can't believe it's not butter. This stuff is so good. I gotta text Carlos and let him know. Hi babe, can you also get more, like just one container of the I can't believe it's not butter, we're almost out. Thank you, love you. Do you guys use that voice thing in your phone where you just hit the microphone and you say it and it types it out for you? Let me just tell you, it's the best thing ever invented, okay? I think Carlos is gonna grab a rotisserie chicken because he's gonna shred it up and eat it with his Caesar salad today. It's the same one we ate yesterday. It's the one from Costco, they're so easy to make. Mmm, okay, I gotta go do work. I'm making my sauce. I did this the other day in, it was like a long video, I think, where we did spring rolls. This is like the best thing ever invented. Put a little extra cilantro today, hopefully it tastes the same. This is um, basically, in, in the Vietnamese culture, we have the sauce that's very popular. It's just called nuk mam jam. We use the nuk mam jam for everything, like broken rice, we put it on the rice. We dip spring rolls in it, we dip egg rolls in it. Basically, we use it for everything. It's basically the sauce of the culture. And everybody makes theirs a little bit differently, but at the end of the day, it's a cultural thing. Like everybody pretty much knows the recipe. <laughs> Or at least the basics of it. So, this is nuk mam. Nuk mam is a Vietnamese fish sauce. It's the, the darker version. This one we use to season things. You can also use it as a dip and it's very, very fishy. This is sugar. A lot of you guys ask about this spoon. Uh, we got it, wow, we still didn't take the tag off. Wow, that's great. <laughs> we got it in Hawaii when Carlos and I went to Hawaii in November 2019. And they're handmade, which is really cool. I'm gonna do another spoon of fish sauce. I don't like mine too sweet. Mmm, that's good. Hi guys, I just finish uh, filming my mukbang. I put this in the freezer and I completely forgot to take it out. So now I gotta wait for it to melt. I am going to shed some chicken. We got Riley here trying to steal my chicken. I am going to shred some chicken. I'm either going to make chicken noodle soup tomorrow or we are going to use this to make a chicken Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar salad. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Clouds as life belongs to me. So again and warmth down to my dangling feet. Fairy dust in hand, loves in high demand. These boys, I prison wear. They lick me when I just sit here. I got Amazon. What's new? Everything in here is for the Nespresso. I'm very, very excited. Oh, I really want some coffee right now. Should I just whip up some? I think that's a good idea. It's kind of late for coffee. Uh, I think it's a little too late for coffee. You're gonna stay late. Okay, fine. <laughs> so. Yeah, we took a nap earlier. We took a fat nap, huh, old man? So, the nap plus coffee, you're not gonna sleep. Oh, speaking of that, so my friend Bree, who lives in, I think she lives in Seattle. So the reason that we know Bree is because Bree rescued her old English sheepdog from Bunny's Buddies as well. And since I have an old English sheepdog right here, they're low key dating without knowing it. So Bree works at Starbucks and I literally texted her and I was like, I love the Starbucks sweet cream, sweet creamer and the iced coffee. And she gave me the recipe on how to do it. So we're gonna do it tomorrow. We might do it tonight, I don't know. I'm very excited. But hi Bree! She watches my videos sometimes. I love Bree, she's so sweet. 
I've never met her before. <laughs> we met her through our dogs, but I'm excited to meet her one day. I got like all of this cable stuff because I'm trying to make the coffee station aesthetically pleasing. Oh, look, I got the Nespresso pod organizers. Let's see what this is all about. Are the pods in here? Oh, this box is so nice and big. What? This box is so nice and big. What's in there? Oh, the... Holy crap. Oh, that's for the... For the man the pods? Yeah, baby. Cooper, can you help me open this? Thank you, Cooper. Thank you. I got pumps. You guys told me to get pumps. So this is... I got this, the Terrainy sweeteners but Brie told me to go to Starbucks and you actually can buy the vanilla syrup for $12 and they will give you a pump so I'm gonna do that tomorrow I did not know that you can buy stuff at uh, Starbucks like syrup and stuff uh the pods are in here yeah buddy oh my god guys we are half it's happening we're converting I know you want to give me kisses I know come here come here oh my god I love you I love you it's like, no, no. The order that they get, they just don't want our love. One day you will want my love. Remember, he's looking. <laughs> Riley! Riley! You will love mama? No, <gasps> Betty Rogue. I can't reach you. Come over here. I'll give you Belly Rogue. Riley! 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 Let's see what this espresso organizer is all about. Oh shit, it's actually big. I thought it was much smaller, y'all. Poopy, you're in everyone's way. Oh, this is nice. Babe. Yeah. Look. How many does it fit? 50, I believe. This is really good material. I'm impressed. Okay, we'd like. Is it in the drawer? No, silly. It goes on the count. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, right next to it? I'll, I'll show you. done by Friday. Well, it's technically Monday, but you guys are seeing this. I don't know when this video is going up. You guys are seeing this Wednesday. Oh. Because the... Um, oh, okay. Got it. Oh, hey, you gotta... Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna do it tonight. Um, so it goes up tomorrow. So it goes up tomorrow, then the one I'm gonna finish editing tomorrow goes, goes up, up Tuesday. Tuesday. So this, this one yeah. goes up Wednesday. This one goes up Wednesday. So you guys probably won't see the backyard until next week, a few weeks after. I mean, a few days after. You guys probably won't see the backyard. You guys are watching this Wednesday, so you probably won't see it until Monday that's coming up. No, Tuesday. Sunday. Like, yeah, you guys will Sunday. see it until Yeah, you guys will see it Sunday. You guys will see, so you're watching this right now on a Wednesday when it uploads. You guys will see the backyard on Sunday. Sunday or Sunday or Monday, one of those two. No. Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know. I, Hopefully just... Saturday. Saturday. Because you know, this week we're doing the all every day. Oh hi, baby. What's up, Mr. Cooper? Hi. Okay, sir, you have to get off because uh, Rocky wants to get on. Rocky's turn. Baby. Oh my God, you scared Mama. Why are you so dramatic? Okay. Come on. Uh. You like, you like cuddling? Riley? You have something on you, baby. Do you want to cuddle watch a movie, Rocky? Come on, old man. Will you call old man? Rocky. Rocky. Come here. Rocky. Rocky. Come on. It's like, bye, mom. Daddy's calling. I don't know why it says pet, babe. <laughs> We're cleaning. I don't know why it says, maybe pet stands for something else. Yeah, it's um, it's a sweetening syrup. Will you bring the other box, babe? You guys, this is a very exciting moment for everybody. We are about to save a lot of money, boys. Not that you guys drink coffee, but if you could drink coffee, I'm sure you'd be obsessed. Okay, so we have this beautiful outlet. Is it too bright? Can you guys see me? We have this beautiful outlet here, but it's like way too high. Let me bring you down a little. So, thanks, bugs. I got this sleek outlet. So basically it plugs in in the top and then you hide it. I think it's for babies, but I got it anyways. I'm so excited. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see what I'm doing. Can you guys see? Hello. Hello friends. Okay, so this baby goes right here. 
Oh, nice and sleek. It even comes with wire covers. You guys know these? You put the wire through and then you paste it onto the wall. That's cool. I'm gonna save that for another day. You know what? I could hide the wire like one time, like right here. That's kind of cute. They're fairly easy to use. So you just, let's take one out of the bag. And then there's a pasty in the back. You just peel that off. There we go. Peel the pasty off last, please. I did it wrong. And then you wanna plug this in. And then you wanna paste this onto the wall, see? So now it looks a little sleek. Cool, cool. Okay, we love that. And then I got these thingies, like the multi-outlet ones. I swear I'm gonna break a nail. Oh, you know what? Technically we didn't need them because there's one, two, and three. I couldn't see the back one in the Amazon photo, so I was scared that there was only two. But since there's three, let's... There's one. Oh, I'm so happy. They're a little bit higher, so they hide the wire. Okay. I think we're gonna do the, the cube thing. I got these um, zip ties, yeah. zip tie the wires in the back. Sorry, this is such a bad angle. Okay, so these are the syrups that you guys recommended for me to get. This brand on Amazon, thank you so much for the recommendations. I got French vanilla and classic caramel. And then everybody said to also get pumps, so I did. And then I got classic hazelnut and vanilla. And tomorrow I'm gonna go to Starbucks and buy their vanilla syrup, I think that's what Brie said. And then I also got pumps on Amazon as well. Let me put the pumps on last. I'm thinking about lining up the syrups right here. Cute. Oh my God, it covers the wires, kind of. If you're like a perfectionist, you'll see it. I think I'm gonna do another zip tie. Have the frother in the middle. I also wanted to put my favorite condensed milk out in the front here and then my favorite Vietnamese coffee in case I want to like use a fin. And then when my vanilla syrup comes tomorrow, we can figure that out. I kind of wanted to display these cups, but I feel like I don't have room. Actually, technically. I ordered this gigantic fin on Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys how to make Vietnamese coffee this week in a fin. If you guys have never used this, it's very, very fun. It's a popular Vietnamese way on how to make coffee. I'm gonna put it on top. <laughs> Ooh, that looks nice. I really like the setup. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I also went on Nespresso.com and ordered the recycling bags. They'll send you a recycle bag and you put all the pods in and then you ship it back to them for free and they recycle all the pods. Or you can put it in your recycling bin. Aren't these so cute? They were a gift. I love them. It goes with this aesthetic nicely. Okay, I want to... I thought you guys weren't on. <laughs> Let's put it over. Okay, so I want to organize now all of the pods. I'm very, very excited. So we have caramel cookie. Cute. I got some, there's plenty here to share. Cause I am flying, alive and free. I'm living.
Alrighty friends, we are officially done. We're ready to use this baby tomorrow. I really, really want to use it tonight, but it's already 10 o'clock and I just don't think coffee is a good idea. However, I'm so, so tempted, so I guess we'll see in about 10 minutes. But this is what the setup is, looks like. Isn't it so much better than yesterday? It was looking so messy when I got it, but I'm so glad that I found these on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. If you guys have an espresso, an espresso ma machine at home, I definitely suggest this very good quality there was another one on Amazon but it had like a silver handle and I didn't really think that it went with the vibe of the house I love these because they're so sleek and I love that the top is a really nice thick glass material so not only is it able to hold everything but it's gonna be so easy to clean if I ever like make a mess but I organized all of my care is a caramel cookie now I gotta learn all the names. Yeah, caramel cookie. So to the right is all of my caramel cookies. And then to the left is all the one that Nespresso had in the box. And then I ordered, I think 30 more that is coming on Tuesday. So in a few more days, this whole thing will be filled up. I put the cups from our place. Thank you too much, our thank you so much to our place for sending this over. They gifted this and it was it's beautiful. And right here we have the frother, and then we have the Nespresso. I believe it's called the Nespresso Virtue Plus in matte black. And then we have our sweeteners in the back, our syrups. I'm going to get the Starbucks one tomorrow and then we'll like squeeze her in. And then I also got these pumps off of Amazon. Pretty much everything is from Amazon. And then we have the condensed milk, the Vietnamese coffee, and the fin right there in case I ever want to do it that style. But this is what it looks like from the back. All the wires are organized and they're zip tied together and so um, they're organized and then I also don't have to like look at the ugly wires from the front. Looks so good. This is the corner. Let me back away. Doesn't it look so organized? I love it. It's so cute. I'm literally obsessed. I love it so much. But yeah, my new baby. Carlos is going to see it for the very first time. Oh snap. What the hell? Is that a good what the hell? It's like hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, sad. Dang. So we're like those type of people now. Yeah, we're we're those type of people now. And now the next thing that I need to do is nail the same iced coffee we get at Starbucks, mm -hmm. and we are good to go for the rest of our lives. Oh. You like it? Yeah. Oh, that cord thing is kind of cool. Yeah, I zip tied it, and then I like did some electricity shit. Oh, hey, this is actually really cool. It looks better than what we had before. Yeah, way better. I like it. Dang, this is like uh, intense. What is this? Is this like the syrups that they gave you? Yeah, I bought those syrups. I wish they gave it to us for no, free. No, no, like the ones that like when you ask at like Starbucks, it gives you like a pump of something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's why tomorrow I'm going to go to Starbucks and, and buy their vanilla. We should ask Jackie to tell us hmm. what to do with some. She used to work at Starbucks. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I was like, wait, why would we ask Jackie? Can we use syrup in baking? <laughs> yeah, she used to. No, she used to. Uh, she used to work at Starbucks. Oh, I didn't know. I asked Bree how to make the sweet cream. Mm. So she told me to go get the vanilla. Okay, we have. I have to learn because this looks all. This all. This is a frother. So you put like milk and stuff in here, and you press this, and it basically whips it up for you, hot or cold. Mm. And then you like pour it on top of your coffee. Yeah, that's why this. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Unfortunately, our mason jars don't fit, so if you want to measure out coffee, just use these cups. Okay. This is caramel cookie. I think we'll like that the most, I assume. Yeah. I have another pack coming with you, and then you can play around. And they're different sizes. Mm. So that's like a different amount of coffee, obviously. Right. I think their biggest one is 14 ounces. That's pretty big. This is dope. I like it. Yeah, it's going to save us a lot of money. I know. And then this is, if you want to do like Vietnamese coffee, then... I would use the fin, and oh. this is the condensed milk. I don't think I would ever, it's too strong for me. Oh, you don't like a Vietnamese coffee, yeah? It's too strong. Would you like a cup? Okay, sure. Yes. We're gonna make a cup, you guys. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm nervous, what if I mess it up? Okay, which, should we do caramel cookie? Nervous. <laughs> Okay, I'm using a 7.77 fluid ounce caramel cookie. My first time ever doing this. Hopefully I have it, I'm doing it right. Oh wait, you might want to put a cup down. Okay. Oh, it's not as... 
Oh, it's loud. It's not as loud as I thought. Um, I guess I can get my frothing stuff. I don't want to miss the moment. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, it's like hot. Hot, hot. Oh my god. Koopy, look, it's the new coffee machine, baby, look. Let's see what 7.77 .77 does. Oh my god. Look! Oh yeah! Okay, so I'll do mine first. <laughs> In case I let's do two pumps of French vanilla. I forgot to show you, I'm using the frother. Um, I did it blue because I want it cold. Does it tell you when it's done? I don't think that I can use these cups anymore because they're too wide. We'll have we'll probably have to use like a little what are they called? Pitcher? Like a little coffee pitcher. Hey, it doesn't look bad. Does it tell you when it's done? Wow, how do people work at Starbucks? I'm stressed. Oh, it's done. Oh my god. Wow. I'm gonna try Carlos this first. Hold up. I mean, Carlos and I are really, really fake coffee drinkers. We like our creamer with a little bit of coffee and this is pretty bomb. Mm. I'm gonna give him this one. This one's better. Wow, I am so happy. Thank you, you guys, for recommending the Nespresso. I could use a little bit more coffee in mine. Wow, that is good. Totally recommend. I use um, the caramel cookie and then I put this in. I think I use a little too much of this to be honest because I got nervous. <laughs> and then I uh, put this in the frother. But that was just me under pressure. I'll actually learn some recipes soon and we can make coffee together every morning. Wow, this is so good though. We are getting ready for bed. It's so cold in this house. I just FaceTimed Michelle for two hours. We were just talking about like a bunch of things and I lost track of time. FaceTiming is so dangerous. Have you guys ever FaceTimed a friend and you look at the clock and it's been like two or three hours? I am going to take off my makeup. I have like a really thin layer of makeup on and I'm going to use the same thing that I've been using last week. This is the Drunk Elephant, this thingy, here you go. I like it so far. However, I really like it during the morning time, I don't really love it so much at night taking my makeup off. I still really like the clean and clear. I think I kind of want to use the clean and clear because I put a lot of powder on today. We're still in the guest bathroom as you guys can tell. We're not finished with our closet and master uh, bathroom. I'm hoping to be out of this guest bathroom by the end of the week. Oh, also, a lot of you guys recommended for me to change my routine to Aquaphor. You guys said that this is really good for super chapped lips, which I have very, very, very chapped lips all the time. And a lot of people recommended this in the comments. So thank you so much. I'm gonna try this out. I, of course, got the biggest bottle. And then I also got mini ones for my purse. So I'm going to try this out and let you guys know. My lips went down tremendously. I don't know if you guys can tell. They're chapped right now, so I don't wanna come too close. I'm kinda embarrassed, but um, let me like not say anything. Um, yeah, they went down tremendously. They look a little bit bigger, but still pretty natural, right? I feel like it's my lip, but just a little bit bigger. Now, keep in mind, I haven't worn makeup yet where I have done my lips, like overdraw it and put a gloss and see if I like it. As of right now, I'm content with this. I don't want to go any bigger because I don't wear makeup about like 95% of the time. So I don't wanna have like super big lips when I don't have makeup on cause then I'll really look like a fish. But yeah, the swelling went down tremendously. I would say that today I'm pretty back to normal and everything feels great. The swelling has gone down. I just need to care the chap loose to be honest. To go to bed, I'm gonna use Cetaphil. 
you know what skincare I really want to buy and try? The Estee Lauder serum. I don't know what it's called. I'll have to look it up. I know what the bottle looks like. It's the one with the squeezy tube thing. And it's in like this really dark glass container. I know it's a serum or an oil. Something like that. I'll have to look it up. But I really want to try that. Have you guys tried it? I used to use Cetaphil during the day. But I noticed that throughout the day, it just got too oily for me throughout the years. Like back in like 2016, it was fine. But I think, you know, you grow and you age and your skin changes. So now I just use Cetaphil at night so I can get that extra hydration. Because, you know, during the night, you're just sleeping. You're not doing anything. So you might as well let your skincare do the work for you. Oh, come on. And you can get a big container of this at Costco. I think it comes in a pack of two. And I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put it on my sides too. I feel like I'm really dry right here. I'm getting these little textured bumps right here. And I don't know if it's from wearing a mask or... I'm about to start my period, but that's new. If I walk around this whole kitchen, they will walk with me. Uh, Rocky was the smart one. <laughs> I'm going to upload my video. Can we just admire? Can we please just admire the coffee thing again? Oh my god. I'm so grateful. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you, you guys, enough for commenting and messaging me and recommending this Nespresso. It's going to save us so much money. And this is such a grown-up moment for me. I feel like I have reached that stage of adulting that I have been so delayed on. And all of you guys have probably reached it a long, long, long time ago. I am actually going to end the video right here or the vlog right here. I am going to upload a vlog right now for tomorrow and answer some emails. It's already one o'clock in the morning, you guys. <laughs> so crazy. I feel like my days go by so fast because I have so much to do and then like everything that every time I um, do something or like every hour, I have to think about reaching for the camera and like sharing what I'm doing with you guys and sometimes I forget. So I don't get to show a lot of the things, but I love vlogging and I cannot believe that we've been consistently vlogging for two months now. I cannot believe this is the last week of February. February is such a short month. But yeah, I cannot believe that we've been consistently vlogging for two months. It feels so good and I hope that you guys have been loving it. I know that majority of you tend to watch my vlogs a lot more than my other videos, but I am very interested in knowing if you guys are interested in like makeup tutorials and like lookbooks or fashion related try on hauls cleaning videos let me know down below what you're interested in like clicking on and watching you know because as much as i think it's important for me to make content that makes me happy as a creator but it should also make you guys happy and be something that you enjoy watching i want my platform my channel to be very positive and i want it to be a safe place that's very important to me i want it to be a safe place that you guys can come every day and feel really good after you end the video and feel like you can have a good start to your day and that's one of the reasons why I upload so early. I upload a vlog or any video at 7 a.m. every morning Sunday to Thursday and because I want you guys to start out your day on a really really good note and then my mukbangs go up at 5 o'clock in the afternoon so then we can enjoy dinner together and just relax after a long day. But yeah let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more of. I would really love your input. I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video and we will hang out then don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my eat with kim channel i would really appreciate it comment like all that good stuff i love you Bye bye